Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to turn this with these. into as much as this as you can make. It's coming up today on Budget Theory Workshop. Okay, so the first thing you want to get is just a cheap plastic bowl. Don't use your mother's best one. The same goes for the sieve. What we're going to do is just sieve out the rougher parts. So all we have left some nice smooth sawdust okay once you've got as much as you think you'd want then what you're going to do is just add your cheap poster paint I'm going to go with a combo of a couple of different greens I'm going to put in some brown now these cost £2.50 for 600 mil so I'm not sure what prices would be like where you are so you're just gonna mix in a little bit just I'm just using an old wooden spoon again I don't use the best <laughs> best kitchen implements may not think it's taking the colour very well but that's just because the sawdust is soaking up all that paint you just got to keep mixing and mixing and eventually we'll get some coloured sawdust I'm just going to speed through this Sawdust will soak all that up. All you have to do is just tease it through your sieve. You may notice it'll stick to the sides, but if you just give it a tap, it'll come off. So, yeah, just sieve it through to a suitable surface covered in either paper cardboard like I have here then we'll move on to the next step okay so once you've got it all sieved out and on your bit of cardboard so it's drying just make sure there's something sturdy underneath it as well so what you're gonna do next I made a little bit too much but it still be okay. All you want to do is try and evenly spread it out. And you want it so the right texture is to, it kind of still feels damp. But when you pull your fingers away, your fingers aren't getting covered in green paint or whatever colour. So yeah, then all we're going to do is just leave it to dry okay and once you're done you end up with something like this now when you get to this stage don't be alarmed that it looks all clumpy I got exactly to this stage when I did my initial one but you just leave it to dry somewhere humid I tend to leave it in my shed outside because it gets kind of warm out there or you can even put it on a, a tray, put some baking parchment on and stick it in the oven, just on the lowest setting. 
And once you do that, we'll just do a little side by side. We'll have that. As you can see, this is basically, it's like flour. It's really good. So yeah, very good quality homemade flock. Uh, the sawdust for this, I got for free from my local lumber yard. It was just basically the stuff that's lying around the floor and they just chuck it out. So you just say, do you have any sawdust flour? And normally they'll just like bag it up and throw it away anyway. So I know you might need to pay a little bit for it, but yeah, I got a huge bag for absolutely nothing. And the poster paints, they cost uh, £2.50 I said, didn't I? Yeah, £2.50. Uh, the tubs, well, I had them. So yeah, basically as much flocking as you could make for £2.50. Um, you may want to add water, depending how, what brand of poster paint you use. Uh, mine already is kind of runny enough that I don't need to use water. I just add a little bit more paint, give it a really good mix, add some more sawdust and then just leave it to dry. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you'd like to support the channel, why not think about becoming a patron? There's some de really good benefits. Just check out my patron page for that. And I will see you next time. Bye for now guys. Thanks for watching.